Welcome back to video 12. In this video, we're going to be setting up policies and we're going to be protecting our APIs using these policies. And we're building on top of the last several videos. And you'll see it pop out in the top right corner. That's the entire playlist for this series. So if you missed any of the prior videos, I highly recommend going back and checking those out. So let's jump into the startup class and we'll set up a policy. So inside of the API, open up the startup class. So to configure policies within our application, we need to set it up within the configure services. And we need to do something very similar to what we did right here. So instead of adding the authentication, now we're going to add authorization to our services. And I'll add that towards the bottom right here. So we're adding on to our services and we're using the add authorization. And like we did up here, we could pass in options. So we'll do the same thing here. So options, and then I'll close it up correctly. Then in here, we can set up all of our policies. The first policy we'll set up is for the manager developers, I called it. So anybody that's a manager developer needs to have a claim of job title. And we set this up in a prior video and it's gotta be a developer. Also, they must have a role as a manager. Then I'm going to add a second policy, and this policy is going to be for the administrators. And you could add as many policies as you want. For now, I'm just adding two. So one for the manager developers, and the other one's going to be for the admin developers. Set up these two for now. So if you want to use the admin developers API, you have to have a job title of developer, and also you must be a administrator. So we just set up our policies. We could save this. Now let's open up a controller and protect a couple of our APIs. So go inside of the controllers, open up the user controller. And the two APIs we'll protect is this one. So only manager developers can get access to this one. And then this one, only admin developers could use this. So we'll set our policies to this. And this is very similar to using this authorized attribute up here. But instead of using roles, we're going to use policies now. So right below here, I add the authorized attribute. And now we're using the policy. And then we're using the manager developers policy we created within the startup class. So it's very important that it matches with this. Now we use the admin developers. We'll use that on the second API right here. Now only admin developers can use this API right here. So let's make sure we save everything and restart the application. So I'll shut it down again. And we'll test it out in Postman again. So the two APIs we want to test is the manager developers. So only manager developers can use this one. And then the admin developers. So only admin developers could use this API. So let's create two fresh accounts. One is going to be for the manager developers and the other one's going to be for the admin developers. So we'll go into the register and I called it test seven. I just keep adding all the numbers, Mike seven. And then we're going to copy and paste so we don't make any mistakes with setting up our roles and the claim. So if we go back to the startup class and in the startup class and let's copy this. So the role is going to be manager in this case. So we'll add this to the role. And then the claim, we'll go back and get that. And that's going to be developer. If you spell any of these wrong, you'll, you'll get a bunch of headaches. So we'll just make sure we just copy and paste everything so we get everything correctly. And then we'll create an account. So this is going to be Mike7. And that was successful. Now let's set up this for the developer. We'll go back, or the admin, I mean. If we go back here, and copy this and we'll replace the role and this and let's create this account so we have an account for that now let's try logging in and i'll replace this with a seven log in with this get the token we'll check this in jaw io in the browser and let's paste it in here so we have a claim as a developer and we have a role as a manager. So we should be allowed to use this one API. If we go back here, go into the 
manager developers API. And if we paste the token in here and then hit send, we get a 200 okay and we get back some information. Now, if we try to trick our API like this one and pass in a bogus token, we should get a 403 forbidden. Let's try that and hit send and we get a 403. Now let's try to log in with a valid admin account and we'll go back here and we have an account for that. And that is Mike eight. I'll change this over and hit send. Copy this token. And go into our admin API and add that token here and hit send again. And we get access to this API. And that's how you protect an API by using a policy. Now that we're able to protect an API by creating policies, and we're also able to attach claims to our tokens and also roles. Now let's decode our drop tokens from within our Angular application. So what we'll need to do is, is install a package, and then we'll be able to get some information out of our tokens and use it within our template. And we'll do that next.